Hey guys, how you doing? I'm currently standing on the golf course. Well, there's not a lot to see right now, but I think in about two weeks, the first golf players are trying their luck for maybe a hole in one, I don't know. So today I want to talk with you about the best weather or the best time of the day for photography. And the reason for that is that I was at the exact same location yesterday. The only difference, the weather wasn't that great. I mean, now the sun is shining, golden hour, but yesterday it was very cloudy and almost raining. But the worst weather or bad weather does mean to be bad for photography. Actually, it's really nice weather for photography. When the weather is bad, it's usually very cloudy and all these clouds are a huge softbox. So what happens is that you have very natural and very soft light and it's very convenient in editing when the image is evenly lit and you don't have to deal with harsh shadows or overexposed parts in the image. So softbox lighting when it's cloudy, very nice. Yeah, so this is T number two, I mean, yeah, well you can't see the flag post because it isn't placed yet and I don't think there's a hole in the uh, on the green yet so there's a lot of things to do for the green keepers but I think they will do it on time especially the really interesting spots where a lot of people want to take pictures of aren't really crowdy when the weather is bad because most of the time people want to stay inside when it's raining or it's cloudy or it's cold but when you are the one guy or the one girl Going out, taking the picture without all these tourists or other people, you'll be really happy that you did it. Look, there's a little bit of snow left, so... If you want to build a snowman, it's still possible here. <laughs> but hopefully the snow is gone soon, because I need summer! Another great time of the day to take pictures is golden hour and golden hour is usually the time one hour or depending on your location one and a half hour before sunset and the reason for that is that the sun is low in the sky and you have this really amazing orangish or reddish glow all over your image and another advantage is that the shadows are really soft because the sun is low in the sky and golden hour is perfect for portrait photography because first of all the lighting is very soft, so you don't have any harsh shadows on the faces of your models. And the second advantage is that that orangish or reddish glow looks perfect in your image. Especially if you place the sun behind the model's head, then you have this kind of like rim light effect behind your head and looks just awesome. Look, the hole is already in place, so now you only need a golf ball and some golf clubs and the game is on. I'm back home, the weather was getting a little bit too cold, so I still feel that it's just April and not July or August. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching, I hope you learned something. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!